Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tila's randomized playthrough of Fire Emblem VI The Binding Blade. Uh, we just wrapped up our playthrough of Fire Emblem VII, Rekinoken, randomized. And this is the uh, story successor to that game. It happens something like 20 years in the future. Uh, when Zephiel is older, and you know, everyone's older really, Hector and Eli Wood and everyone. Uh, and you're going to see some familiar faces, and you'll see lots of new ones as well. Um, as I said before, this is a randomized playthrough, and my initial thoughts were to play this on hard mode, but I forgot that if you haven't beaten the game before, um you have to play on normal mode and I have beaten the game before um, however that was on you know a different PC or whatever and I don't have my saves unfortunately so we're gonna have to play normal mode uh, which is fine you know this is the our first uh, randomized playthrough of Fire Emblem 6 ever so uh, I'm assuming it will be fine um, given how it went in Fire Emblem 7. And we kind of put restrictions on ourselves as well. We didn't do an arena or anything in that. Um, I'm going to be mixing it up a little bit this time. Uh, as you might have noticed, the production value has gone up a little bit. Uh, we have a nice little border here. And yeah, I, I spent a little bit of time neatening the place up. So I hope you appreciate that. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and do like some custom thumbnails and stuff that make it look a little bit better than the last playthrough. You know, always trying to improve. So, um, but yeah, so what we're changing about this one is we're not having plus or minus 10% on the growth rates, but we are doing plus or minus five on uh, randomized bases and also constitution. And, um, we're doing randomized lords, thieves, special classes, uh, bosses, minions. Um, we're buffing the power level of bosses by plus five-ish. Uh, and they have a 25% chance to have improved weapons as well. So we're buffing the power level on all that. Again, there will be cross-gender recruitment. Um, so guy characters can be female and vice versa. So that'll be kind of interesting as it was in Fire Emblem 7, right? Uh, because we're doing thieves, I hope we don't run into any issues where we have like a party of thieves. Uh, <laughs> I, I did assign it to an even distribution, but we saw how that went in Fire Emblem 7. We got a lot of certain types of units and not a lot of others. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I hope the game doesn't like crash or anything. When I was applying the randomized, the Yune's patch to it, it said it didn't recognize the game. I don't know if that's because I have an English version of the game. That might be the case. Um, so I had to tell it what the game was. You know, Fire Emblem 6. And it was like, oh, you might encounter errors. You never know. We don't know what this is. And I was like, okay. So <laughs> I hope this doesn't get really fucked up or anything. Uh, fingers crossed. But anyways, guys, uh, I will be trying to uh, do the vocals and all the voiceover work for the entire game, just as I did in Fire Emblem 7. It's it's a chore to be sure, especially considering that I'm, you know, only one person and I have a very <laughs> strict vocal range, right? So it's difficult for me to hit certain characters. And um, this is why we have a team of voice actors on games, on projects. You don't have just one person voicing all the characters. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. You know, we're we're here to have fun. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? Uh, yeah, so at any rate, let's just jump into it. Uh, so, Chapter 1, Dawn of Destiny. 
Man and dragon once coexisted in harmony. However, man shattered that harmony with a harmony with a sudden onslaught. A great war known as the Scoring was fought for the dominion of the land. The losses were tremendous for both sides, and in this war, the very laws of nature itself were twisted and distorted, bringing chaos and unease. Defeated and humbled, the dragons disappeared from the realm. Mankind then began to rebuild and repopulate their newly won land. A millennium has passed since then. After defeating the dragons, humans of Elibe quickly spread their culture and civilization to the farthest reaches of the continent. In the west lies the kingdom of Etruria, which is widely considered to possess the most refined culture in all of Elibe. The kingdom of Burn, with its powerful military and logical pragmatic people, is located on the other side of the continent in the east. These are the two most powerful nations in Elibe, with the weaker nations situated between them. These smaller lands are the Lycian League, whose numerous territories are independently ruled by a number of Marcuses that are bound by a vow of allegiance. Ilia, where the people arduously till the frozen soil and many become mercenaries to earn money to survive. And Sake, where various clans ride through the plains on horseback. Although there were occasional clashes between these nations, the majority of the people of Elib lived in peace. That peace, however, was not to last. King Zephiel of Bern, recurring character, he's all grown up, has commanded his forces to conquer the entirety of Elib. Burn's armies first attacked Sakei and Ilya, ruthlessly massacring all who opposed them. Now, Burn is mounting a merciless invasion into Lycia. Ferre is a territory of Lycia known for its beauty and honorable lords. That's interesting, is that Roy? Roy is Sophia? Alright. Ferre's lord Roy was in Ostia, Lycia's largest territory, when the invasion began. He had been sent to study and become the next Marcus of the Fairy Territory. There's old Eliwood. However, the sitting Marcus and Roy's father Eliwood, who has been ill, has sent for Roy to return to lead Fairy's soldiers in defending against Burn. And there's old Hector. Marcus Hector of Ostia leads the Council of Lords in Lycia. At the same time, Eli Woods sent for Roy. Marcus Ostia's daughter, Lilina, was in Ferry visiting Eli Wood. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Who was Marcus Ostia's longtime friend and confidant. Upon receiving his father's message, Roy hurries home, taking with him his vassals and... Boars... <laughs> A knight from Ostia who is responsible for Lilina's safety. The story begins when Roy reaches the outskirts of Fere. Mm hmm. Okay. This is already going interestingly. Bosh! They've all hidden themselves inside the castle. Yeah, even Eli Wood, the great knight in Lycia, is no match for an illness, it seems. <laughs> you were right when you said there wouldn't be many soldiers. They're all getting ready to defend against Burn. Of course I was right. I'm always right, you fool. But reinforcements could be here any minute. All right, you curs, listen up. Kill everyone inside the castle while we still got time. Then we can waltz out of here with all the loot. Nice. Heh <laughs> castles ain't the only places with loot. Let's go and ransack the villages and take everything they got. Bastard. Lord Elowood! We're under attack by bandits from Mount Bolm! I understand. 
Thank you, Merlinus. Blast it! Were I not in this pitiful state, uh, I would take uh, care of them all myself. Lord Eli would? Lelina, you must hide yourself. This castle is going to become a war zone. No, my lord. I can fight too. Don't be absurd. I couldn't face Hector if something happened to you in my own castle. My father, but... It's going to be alright. Roy should be here any moment. So we just need to hold our own until then. He'll drive off these dastards. Merlinus, send a messenger to Roy to let him know the current situation. We need his help. Yes, my lord. Oh, there's already a Roy minion. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. We have three shamans? <laughs> oh, God, what is this? No, oh, it's Lance. What's the matter? Why are you in such a hurry? Lord Roy, bandits have appeared and are attacking the castle as we speak. No. Is the Marcus unharmed? He's inside, defending against the bandits' attack. But I don't know how long he can last with his illness. Excuse me, Lance, is it? Is Lady Lelina safe? You must be a knight of Ostia. Lady Lelina is in the castle. She should be alright. She's with Lord Elywood, after all. But he can't last forever. No. I shouldn't have let Lelina go to the castle before me. Lord Roy, regret won't solve anything. We must retake the castle. Wold is right. We must make haste. Oh, there's Marcus. Yes, you're right. This is no time to despair. Very well. Two arms, then. Our target is the castle. We must rescue everyone. Why am I not getting their portraits, though, like I was in FE7? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. So, uh, Roy is a shaman. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's... Whoops. Alright, I need to figure out... Uh, um, ba -ba. Uh, how did I do that? There we go. Change log. Okay, let's look at Roy. Do, 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 do. So, Shaman. Um, I, as I said, I didn't tinker with growth rates. But the growth rates are changed because he changed classes. So, um, pretty good HP growth. Pretty good strength slash magic growth. Decent skill growth. And mass speed bad luck defense, and really good res growth. Okay. So he should be a decent shaman. Uh, or she. I don't know. Uh, and then you can see the bases. Pretty good base speed here for a level 1. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. So that's Roy. Then we have Alan, or Gwendolyn. The shaman as well. I guess we can kind of look at those. Uh, there we go. Okay. So pretty mass stats. I mean, they're okay. Oh, well, you know, all across the board here. Um. Yeah. Interesting. He has A, though. What? He has an A in dark magic, dude. Whoa. And then Lance here. Or I think his name is Ogier? I never used him when I played before. So D in dark magic. Um, let's look up Lance. There are so many lances in this list, we're gonna have to, like, be very specific here. So here we go. So these are Lance's stats. 
as you can see, his growth rates are eh, pretty meh as well. I mean, speed is not too bad. This is just like okay. This is really good. Um, this guy is kind of underwhelming, I'll be honest. His growths aren't great, and then his starting stats are pretty poor compared to the other two. Yeah. He didn't fare too well on the plus or minus <laughs> five starting stats, did he? Yeah. Okay. Then we have Boars. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, Boars the Cavalier. You guys can see that. Yeah, decent HP growth. Um, not great strength growth. Pretty good skill, really good speed, really good luck. And then poor defense and res, though. So this is not going to be a very tanky Cav. Um, but not too bad starting stats. Uh, but this, this is a problem, right? Like... He has no, or she has no defense or res, pretty much, and she's never going to. So this is not, not a very good unit, I don't think. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, man. I mean, it's a good unit right now, but like later on, it won't be. I don't think so. And we've got, of course, Marcus here, also known as a Walt. Uh, he is our Jagan character. Let's look at his stats. There you go. So really good HP growth, of course. Decent strength growth. Pretty good skill growth. Decent speed. Decent luck. And then poor defense and res. Um, he didn't fare too well on starting strength here. Or base luck, unfortunately. Or base res. <laughs> uh, but he has an A in axes, so that's fun. And uh, finally, we've got Walt here, or Rutger. So let's look him up as well. There you go. Um, really good HP growth, Wowzers. Not that great strength growth. Really good skill growth. Pretty good speed growth. Um, and then pretty lackluster rest of these three here. Really good starting strength. As I guess is kind of expected for a knight. And poor stats pretty much across the board. Except for def defense and res is pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I mean, he's level one. So, look at that. Look at his defense and res. He's got it going on in three places here. So... Um, and where he's lacking, he'll make up for it. The speed, the skill. I mean, this is a pretty good unit, I would say. Uh, the growth rates on defense and res aren't particularly great. Uh, but I think he, he might... I mean, he starts off with a decent amount, so... Um, if, if he's heavily invested into, he might still be worth it. Um, we'll have to see. But anyway. This is, a uh, a, uh, <laughs> a unique core, I suppose. We've got three shamans here. Um, alright, so let's look at what we got. This guy has ten attack. Three base speed. Yeah. Okay. Lance can definitely take a hit from him. Uh, but we don't want to take a hit from this. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, we gotta change that right now, don't we? So, animations, game speed fast, um... Tech speed fast. Do, 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 do. Off on auto cursor. And uh, yeah, the window color is fine. 
So this guy doesn't have anything too concerning, really. Um, he doesn't hit, like, particularly hard either, but... There we go. We'll do that. Dude, look at this. Ugh. Ugh. Terrible. Really annoying, man. Um, because this cab is so pathetic, I don't know that I dared even move. Um, I mean, I guess Lance can chill here. He can take a hit, for sure. Um, so yeah, I guess he, we'll, we'll go with it. Curses! Reinforcements already! But they'll have to go through me to get into castle. All right. Ooh, that is not a great palette, man. Not a great start either. Nice. I prefer FE7's ting noise over that. That's probably fine, right? Interesting. Oh, come on, man. Man, Flux is really slow in this game. Unfortunately, we did not manage to kill this guy, so we kind of have to retreat. Well, Wolt is pretty tanky, so I think he'll be all right. I'm just gonna send this guy off to get the village. We should be fine without him. Roy definitely has the best palette. Good. Don't like these hit rates on the shamans, man. Really not a fan. Hmm. Mark is a... I don't know, he looks pretty cool. Bing! Um, and you know what? It's actually not a bad thing that Marcus is such poor strength because he can kind of chip units down. Hey, are you knights going to the castle? I know this isn't much, but please accept this money on behalf of all of us. Use it well. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Do... Do, 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 do. Alright. Okay, 
what does this guy... What does he do? He's pretty fast, actually. Eight speed. Oh, baby, that would be bad. Uh... Jeez. Oh, man. I mean... Hmm. She can definitely take another hit. Um... Hmm. I mean, oh god. She, he, he would deal seven damage to her. I'm gonna do this, but I'm playing it safe. I am not fucking with that. Not so early. Not with these terrible shaman. Dude, I forgot how annoying hit rates are in this game. Everything is just so slow. Oh god. Wow. Okay. Um... I guess I have to go over here, because if she misses it, uh, again, I'm probably going to have to be rescuing her. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, man. This game. Okay. Um... Do do do. <laughs> that looks so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? I don't think I can overstate how terrible it is to have three shamans like this in the early game. It's just so not viable, man. I don't even know. It's like basically not like just missing three units. They just don't hit for shit. Okay, six. Uh, who has good res? He does. She does. Dang. Okay. Uh, she's absolutely slow as shit. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Do, 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 do. And magic in this game does get used up every single time, whether you hit or miss. Pretty sure that's true. Which sucks a lot. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Wow. This is uh, going to be an interesting playthrough, I think. I like that chapter length will be like 15 to 20% slower just because I'm using three shamans. 
It's like, oh god. Okay. Uh, Alright, we can pull this guy. Bang. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. bum. Okay. And let's pull this guy right now. Right, no one else is in range. Good. I'm quickly understanding that Wolt is going to be my crutch. And, uh, boy, I hope I get a healer this playthrough a lot quicker than <laughs> when I got a healer in FE7, because, wow, that was a nightmare. Hmm, okay. He doesn't hit too hard. Okay. So we can pull him right here. Yeah, that looks good. And then, and then, and then... We can kind of send our other casters around. Uh, something like this, something like that, and something like that. There we go. Nice. Try again. Bum, 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 bum. Bum bum. Alright. So here comes the mage. We can pull... Well, we're gonna be pulling them here for sure. Actually, uh, let's do something like that. Yeah. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, okay. Going for Alan, huh? Kind of a weird priority for them. Hmm. I mean, I'm definitely not complaining. Okay. Um, we can pull this guy here. Let's try and get a kill with Alan. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, uh, the victory song playing with three units on the map, huh? Interesting. I'll pull this here, soldier. With Holt. Nice. Hit rates have to be tweaked in this game compared to FE7. I don't know what exactly it is, what's going on here. 
I don't know. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Lance can double this guy. What are the odds he hits him twice, huh? I don't actually know with how, <laughs> how it's been going lately. Sure. Now this guy... Does he count as a boss? He doesn't have like a like a boss marker on him. I don't know. Well, he can't attack us at range, so... I don't think he's gonna move. I don't think. Something like that definitely makes us safe, though. Do 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 do. Okay, that guy is moving for sure. Boss is not, however. Nice. This is <laughs> not a winning position, considering that magic does get wasted every time you make an attempt. Ugh. Gross, man. Seriously, what the fuck is happening, dude? Phew. 6% crit? Not favorable. What the hell, man? I'm just gonna have to wait for Wolt to get some ship in, I think. I don't know. Or I just give him the kill. That might be reasonable. Okay. Let's try and kill this guy with Roy. Do, 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 do. Nice. Alright. Second. Time is the charm, I suppose. Okay. I guess so. You bumbling idiots! You can't take down a few pathetic knights! Guess not. Ping, ping, ping. And a level for Walt. Alright. He's not leveling very well, considering... But, uh, whatever. I guess I'll go for it. I know it's not a very good chance. <laughs> My god, dude. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a long run. Okay, that's a hit. Eh. I don't know. I guess Walt can get the kill. Do 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 do. I mean, if he can get the kill. I feel like I should just turn off animations. Ridiculous, man. Alright, Lance. <laughs> what, what the? So strong! You think so? Alright. Wait, what? Why do we keep only leveling HP and luck? So weird. Father! Lelina! Roy, is that you? 
Roy! I'm so glad to see you both. Thank goodness you're unharmed. Thanks for the rescue, Roy. Of course, Father. How is your health? Well enough. I have some life in me yet. But Roy, do you know why I called you back here? I'm to take over and rule uh, the leading soldiers of Ere, right? We must join the rest of the Lycian army to defeat our, to defend our people. Exactly. As you know, Burn has commenced an invasion of Lycia. We are honor-bound to follow the ancient vows of our allegiance. Lycia needs every lord's army, and we must oblige. Of course. I'm truly sorry to interrupt your studies and force you into this war, but I'm not well. I'm in no condition to lead an army. Father. Lord Elywood, I'll go with Roy. My father leads Alicia's largest army, and I'm certain my magic will be of help to Roy. No, Lilina, you must return to Ostia. Why? With Hector preparing for the battle, there is no one sitting on the throne of Ostia. It must be an uneasy feeling for the people to not have a sitting lord. As the daughter of the Marcus, you must take the throne until Hector returns. That will put the people at ease. Do you have any objections? No, my lord. Roy, I have arranged a contract with a group of mercenaries. You are to meet them at the border to burn. Merlinus will accompany you. He is knowledgeable and experienced, and should be of great help. Thank you for everything, father. Don't worry, my son. I have absolute faith in you. Fight bravely and show everyone who the next Marcus of Fere is. Yes, father. Boris, I have a favor to ask you. You needn't ask, my lady. I will accompany Lord Roy in his travels and protect him with my very life. Thank you, Boris. Take care, Roy. I will. You too, Lilina. Alright, well that was chapter one, off to a little bit of a shaky start with three shamans, hopefully uh, the units we get coming up here kind of round out our core a little better, because um, otherwise this is going to be a long run. Can you even imagine if we got like another shaman? <laughs> oh god, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to even think about it. I think this episode is going to be called Three Shamans. You know, it's kind of like a a play on Fire Emblem Three Houses or something. We got three shamans. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this series as much as you enjoyed... I'm assuming you watched Fire Emblem Seven already. If you haven't, what are you doing here? Go watch that first. Um, but if you have, then I hope you enjoyed this one as much as you enjoyed Fire Emblem Seven. Uh, if you are enjoying the series so far, give it a thumbs up, and I will look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Until then, peace.